Um, welcome to this Cubase tutorial. This is going to be very short and simple. It's going to show you exactly how to export a song that you have worked on or edited. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open. Uh, I'm going. Uh, you're going to probably have to go to Open Library or Open to find your project or whatever suits you. But I'm going to go to Recent Projects and load it. Um, and you see, I have mine right here. Uh, it's yes, it is a gay song, so don't comment about the song. Um, it was just a test. Um, so wh what happened here is we've edited our complete song. We have it all done, and we get errors when we're trying to export the file as a wave or whatever. Uh, not good, right? So what we want to do here? Let me go ahead and reset something. Hold on. Um, Okay, alright, so, <clears throat> now, what you want to do, once your song is complete, you want to select all the music parts that you have, um, which are all the tracks and everything, you want to select them all. So you can do this by either Control A, which is selecting all of them, um, and you'll see that it changes the color of your, uh, your properties up here on the tab. Um, you can hold on sorry you uh, after that you can either use the selection tool that they've given you by right click hold it down and get range selection and just select all of it like that but um, for this test I'm just going to do control A and then once you hit control A you're gonna hit P on your keyboard and that'll select see how it moved back to where its original setting when I started because it reset the uh, uh, status bar, like how how far the uh, actual song part is. Um, uh, Cubase five isn't actually much different than Cubase four, so I mean, I mean, in some sense it is, but as far as the maneuvering through the file and all that, it's pretty much the same. So you're gonna go to File, and you obviously go back to the export, and this is where most people have trouble audio mix down. Um, you want to select yes you're going to select the project you worked on if you have more than one you want to select the certain part that you have or the tracks like select all the tracks um, this is my project right here and what I'm going to want to do you'll probably have original settings something like these something like those um, uh, that's incorrect what you're going to want to do is set them to 16 and you want to make sure this is on 44.1 I'm not quite sure exactly this the specifics for a Mac but um, for most Windows users this is going to be for your music track files like your for a CD and stuff this is what this is, you're looking at you want to make sure audio track is selected and you want to file name it whatever you want up here just type in the name uh, and then select your path and put it somewhere where you can, you know, check on it quickly, which is probably your desktop, just to make sure you know it worked out fine. Um, so that would be a good idea. I suggest that. And then um, yeah, you've got your other options here, but we won't worry about that. So we're just going to go ahead and you know export it. Uh, see, I've already created it, so the file exists. So I'm going to overwrite it, and you'll see export audio mix down. And that is how you do it. Uh, the next tutorial will show you in Cubase how to uh, set up your speakers and set up all that in case you can't hear any sound. I know how frustrating that can be, so that's on the next tutorial.